Hey there guys, it's your good pal Wiggly, and welcome back to more Let's Play Metroid Prime 3 Corruption Blind. In the last episode, we advanced through the rest of the pirate homeworld and were ready to move forward to the seed. However, um, there's one thing I want to do before we go do that. Uh, I just edited the last four episodes, and while I was collectible hunting, there was one area I didn't check, and that's Brio Ice. And hopefully we'll find some more at least one of the three pickups there so i'm gonna meet you guys over there and if i find nothing then i'll probably just restart the episode to be honest so you may not even see this oh my goodness there's two here Nice. Okay. Okay. Heck yeah. All right. Now, how do I get to those? Where are they? They're both at the end here of Brio Ice. Fantastic. I'm so glad I checked. There it is. Really? Another ship missile expansion? Okay. Okay. Well, I'm pretty, I, I'm like 100% sure I have all the missiles. So, how many missile expansion, ship missiles do I have now? 10 out of 11. Okay, well, so if there's 11 in total, then there's probably one more. Because 11 seems like a really weird and arbitrary number to leave that at. Um... So, there's probably 12, and that's... Oh, Spider Ball. That's right, there was Spider Ball here. I totally forgot about it. I probably even told myself to make a mental note. But yeah, there's probably... This is either an energy tank or a ship missile expansion. Because there should be one energy tank and probably one more ship missile expansion. And that would make... Then again, 255 is a pretty arbitrary number, so it wouldn't be that weird, I guess. Can I? Come on. Please. There we go. All right. Uh, nice. That's pretty cool. Pun intended. This is a really tiny half pipe. Okay. Uh, where are we going? Holy cow. This is a long way. This is really, really neat. Hey! All energy tanks. Yeah! Alright, so that's 99 out of 100. Alright, um... Well, I suppose I'll get to... The end of the game. And then... We'll see... I'll probably use a guide for the last one, because I, I looked all over the maps, and I'm positive I haven't missed any white dots. So, um... We'll just continue the plot for now, and then, uh, before we go to the final boss, I'll hunt for that one last collectible. I mean, if I didn't fail at screw attacking, that would help. Anyway, I'll meet you back at the Space <laughs> Pirate Homeworld. All right, let's go take on the seed. Uh, or not? Transit tunnel leads to the seed. Electric rails prevent travel. Your ship could fit inside the tunnel. Oh, wait a sec. Do I actually gotta like use the thrusters and stuff? Okay. 
Uh, I don't want to, like, teleport. Uh, thrusters were over here. So let's go. No. Um. No, I don't want to do that. Um, wait, is the seed selectable on the... It is. Okay. So let's go. I'm super excited, but having 99 out of 100% is killing me. I'm sure this isn't the last seed. This can't be. We've been hearing so much about a sentient planet that's the source of all phase on. We've got to be going to that. Okay. Whoa! What the heck? Tentacles hide is durable. Scans attack an interior weak point. Okay, advanced visor. Huh. That's really, really cool. <laughs> Phazon's so damn interesting. All right, time for another boss. Ha! I knew you weren't dead. All right, fucker, let's go. Round three. If you count Prime 1, anyway. Omega Ridley. Armored plating protects, protects body, fires plasma attacks from mouth. Revived and regenerated through phase on exposure, Omega Ridley has been energized to a new combat a new combat threat level. Target retains extremely durable phase on enhanced armor skin, as well as a protective armored plating. Scans indicate that a recent injury has not fully healed. Expose the target expose the target wound to inflict damage. Target will act to prote protect this vulnerability. Seek ways to stun the enemy and leave it open for deadly attacks. Okay. Okay, well, it's in there. Oh, I got a hit on it. All right, um... There we go. What the heck? Um... Okay... Oh, grapple. How did I get a hit on it then? That's weird. Okay. Come on, buddy. You're really easy to read. I'm sure you have phases, though. Alright. 
There we go. Ooh. Hey now. None of that. Oh, okay. No. No telegraphing that time. You are definitely moving faster. This music's really good. Though I, I'm surprised it's not, it doesn't really sound like a remix of the Ridley battle theme though. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> okay. Now what are we doing? Phase out armor is now covering cardiac region. Armor is invulnerable, but internal joints seem weak. Okay. Whoa! Hey now. Alright, so the joints of the armor... I got another hit on the... There's gotta be like a tiny, tiny hitbox for that. Can I just tear it off, maybe? Hmm. Oh, hold up. I gotta do this beginning stuff again. Okay. Is it just more points to rip off, or? No, okay, now I can... Got it, okay. Ow. Okay. Oh, okay. Got it. I haven't memorized. Oh my god, that hurts so much. I mean, rightfully so. Oh. Alright, there goes one joint. Alright, buddy. Nope! Ah, damn it. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. Alright, one hop, two hops. Oh, that's a cool attack. Let's not. Oh, I can't. Okay. I mean, that only stands to make sense, but. Okay, I tried to get a hit in, but that's just too risky and not very worth it. Ah, oh, damn it. That's a tricky hitbox. All right. Ow. Okay.
I really hope I only have to deal with that armor once. Wait, is that damaging him? I haven't been really been paying attention. Don't slap me with your tail. Ow. Oh, he's going so fast. All right. Nope. Okay. Hurting him. Oh, is it just open now? Where is he going? Yeah, nope. Damn. Ah. Uh. Okay. Um. Let's give him a scan. Oh, now you're back on the ground. Okay. All right, buddy. Smart move, Ridley. Okay. Ah, <clears throat> oh, damn it. I completely misread that. Ah, oh, here we go again. Okay. That's pretty difficult to dodge. Okay. Alright, stand in a corner where you can easily... There he is. No? Okay. There he is. Ugh. Okay, this part's not very fun. Oh, hi. All right. Come on, buddy. Ah. Tried to get him in the mouth. No! No, thank you. Ah, oh, rude. Okay, slow down and read his patterns. Sorry about that, small interruption. Come on, Ridley. Back up. Oh my god. Hmm.
I'd really rather not play this game, Ridley. Oh, I can see him on the map. Okay. That makes everything quite a bit easier. Ugh. Come on. Okay. Oh, come on. Get him, get him! No! Oh, come on! He's right there. Oh, oh shit. Well, this just got a whole lot more hectic. Please. I don't have... Oh. Thank you, Ridley. Oh, still not enough. Please, 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 please. Come on. Give me some more of those fireballs, please. Okay, I have to do a really good job reading here. Give me some fireballs. Okay, thank you. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, we're three down from where I was. Oh, great. I'm really bad at dodging this, too. Oh, I have health. I don't know where it came from. Oh, come on. God, you're so damn rude, Ridley. I almost failed that. This one. Of course. Of course he just literally shoots it straight at me and I don't think I can do anything about it. Shoot some fireballs my way, please. Yeah, hyper mode's a really good mechanic. I'd rather do this than switch beams. You see, I did really well. <sighs> Alright, let's try this again now that I know what I'm doing. It's not a hard fight, it's just... Okay, I was gonna say this for the end because I have my opinions on hyper mode. Um, you know, I was gonna, yeah, I was gonna save this for the credits, but to be honest, I'm not a big fan of hyper mode. I, I think it's a really cool concept, but I wish it didn't work on your health. I wish it was like, 
I don't know, not I wish it was not so broken in normal battle and it worked on ammo. Like I wish it was like the annihilator beam, you know? I, I felt like I felt like the beam system worked in the sense of you couldn't you couldn't just spam it and be broken with it. The limited ammo functioned just fine. And really hyper mode's fine until you get into situations like I just got into where it's in a boss battle and I didn't have this problem with the the second boss but the the Moganar and that it really kind of hindered the fights a little bit because I, I was having fun until I got locked into that state of I can't use hyper mode but it's absolutely required to beat the boss you know what I mean? I feel like hyper mode isn't really... I don't know. It's not necessary for most of the game. And when it is, it's more of a hindrance than it is... a pleasure. You know what I mean? I don't know. Do you guys kind of feel the same way? Let me know in the comments. I don't hate the mechanic. I just think... They did... They... Again, it's a really cool concept, but I think in execution, it's really not that good. And I have... I have max... I have max energy tanks, and I wasn't doing really that bad in the fight, either. So... Yeah, I don't know. I have my reservations about the mechanic. And I think it might be part of the reason why uh I'm not as big of a fan, other than Gandreda, which is still my favorite fight in the trilogy. Um, I'm not as big of a fan of the boss fights in this game than I was... I don't know. One, One's boss fights were kind of weak, but uh, two's were stellar most of the time. Really other than just the Grapple Guardian, and really the Alpha Blog's not a bad boss. I just have a personal grudge against it. But the boss fights in this game are cool, but when they require hyper mode, it's really not that fun. And the lock on free aim stuff is a little bit tedious too. I don't know. I'm torn. I'll let you guys know again at the credits. How did I manage to get both of those before? Okay. All right. Open your mouth, boy. Ah, oh, rude. Nope. Okay, that last tail sweep is really, really difficult to dodge. Okay, you're gonna charge. Oh, come on, I hit that. Please. Okay.
Okay, now it's just exposed. Right, the map. I should be shooting missiles into his mouth. That would probably help. I, I, I honest to God, still forget I have missiles. I'm such a, a missile reserving player. I'm very conservative when it comes to missiles. I don't want to pay higher taxes so the country can have free missiles. <laughs> okay. Dumb joke, I know. Oh, and back? Alright, missiles in the mouth don't really work. Alright, two... And then a tail swipe on three, okay. Okay, good. And now he's gonna come at me. Oh, yes. Much better. You see, if you don't get locked in hyper mode, the fights are kind of easy. And if you do, the fights are really hard. Unless you get lucky. So I'm torn on hyper mode. I, I still stand by that I think switching beams and limited ammo worked better. But again, I still think hyper mode's a cool mechanic. Omega Ridley defeated. And what's our final thing? Hyper grapple. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Dude! Oh, the suit looks so good now. Hyper grapple. All right. Wait, what? Oh, oh, the power-ups! Yes! <laughs> yes! I, I Okay, I shouldn't be as proud of myself, but I 100%ed it without a guide. Even though, there are, even though there are white dots that tell you where collectibles are, I am happy. I am happy with myself. Yes! No guide. Okay, I, I was like, where the hell would their last, would there be a last one even? Okay. Uh. Right, there was additional. Additional inventory. I didn't really read it. My bad. Alright, um, hyper mode. You can send energy and... okay. Yep. About what I thought. 
Time to overload the sucker. one last time see the disgusting leviathan okay well it might not be the last time we still gotta go somewhere and fight a final boss There you go. You're welcome, Space Pirates. Solved your problem. <laughs> Samus, you have successfully destroyed the last remaining sea as detected by our systems. The spread of phase on corruption has been stopped. This is a great day for the Federation. You're welcome. However, there is one more mission to complete. Go raid the living planet. Skytown's Aurora Unit 217 reports that he has discovered the origin of the Leviathan attacks. It appears that this is where Dark Samus and her main pirate force are stationed. Destroying them will require a full-scale attack. Unfortunately, this location is so far away it cannot be reached by conventional space travel. We must instead create a wormhole to reach it. The pirates have constructed a Leviathan battleship, which is in orbit around this planet. If we can board this battleship, we may be able to force it to open the wormhole. Large energy surges consistent with a warp device are traveling between the pirates' planet and the Leviathan battleship. It appears the pirates are using this warp device to link to the ship. We will upload the coordinates of this device to you now. Nice. Oh, there's a room I haven't visited. Oh, 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 and now I can hyper grapple. Okay, cool. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay. Nice, okay. Cool, cool. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and do that in the next episode. So anyway... Thank you all for watching this episode of Metroid Prime 3 Corruption Blind. In the last episode- er, oh my god. <sighs> Let me try that again. Thank you all for watching this episode of Metroid Prime 3 Corruption Blind. If you are new, please consider subscribing. If you like the video, please give it a like. Uh, we got 100%. Heck yeah! Um, if you want to follow my Twitter or Tumblr, they're in the description. And I hope to see you guys in the next one, which may even be the last one by the looks of it.